Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Lies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Remington Hoffman's character Lai Shin, who played Wendy Shin on Days of Our Lives, updated Wendy Shin, Victoria Grace, on his second match, which resulted in a poor date, according to the spoilers for Wednesday, August 2. Melinda Trask, Tina Huang, ended up commiserating with Lai because she had a rough date of her own. Wendy became worried when she learned Lai was going out with Melinda one more tonight and giving her another opportunity. Wendy forewarned that Melinda might have planned this in an effort to obtain a taped confession once more. Lai, on the other hand, stayed positive and informed Wendy that this would be a great chance for her to spend some alone time with Trip Johnson, Lucas Adams, Steve Johnson, Stephen Nichols, who heard about Lee's terrible night with Melinda and the fact that he was making it difficult for Tripp to have time alone with Wendy, met up with Tripp at the hospital. Tripp had other plans in mind, despite Steve's offer to host him and the idea that he may go missing with Kayla Johnson, Mary Beth Evans. Tripp informed Wendy unexpectedly that he had reserved a room for them at the Selim Inn whenever he got home. Wendy appeared infused about their romantic evening together as she raced to pack her luggage after giving Tripp a kiss. At Paulina Price's, Jackie Harry, apartment, Abe Carver, James Reynolds, didn't see anything that he recognized, and he declined all the food she had prepared because he wasn't very hungry. A big kiss from Paulina followed her suggestion to watch a love story, but Abe backed away in shock and questioned what the hell was happening. Paulina then apologized for trying to rekindle Abe's memory in the wrong way and for coming on too strong. Abe still didn't know Paulina, so she excused herself to go cry in the other room. Paulina answered the door after Abe called Steve and invited him over. Abe acknowledged that he needed a place to stay because he was uncomfortable living with Paulina there. Aid was determined to leave even though Paulina claimed that this was his home and pleaded with him to give it more time. He hoped he could rely on Steve to be a friend. Aid was taken back to his guest room after Steve gave him permission to stay with him for however long he needed. On Wednesday's episode of Days, Nicole Walker, Ariane Zucker, told Eric Brady, Greg Vaughan, that Sloane Peterson, Jessica Surfety, had accidentally read the results of her genetic test. Sloan didn't mention anything about opening them herself, which surprised Eric. Since Nichols' findings weren't yet out, she also found it odd that Sloan received them at all, but Eric assumed it was all part of the misunderstanding. Sloan complained to Melinda about the judge's harsh punishment of Colin Bedford, Jasper Newman, by handing down a 20-year sentence. Melinda attempted to cheer Sloan up by pointing him that Colin could yet be granted parole. Melinda could sense Sloane was bothered by something when she told her about her disastrous date with Alex Kyriakis, Robert Scott Wilson, and her interest in Lay. Sloane then asked if she may tell Melinda something in complete confidence as a result. Melinda vowed to keep the information a secret after Sloane emphasized that she couldn't tell a soul. Sloane received a call from Eric asking to meet up to chat after she acknowledged that this was about Nicole and stated her pregnancy. Sloane ignored Melinda's complaints that he had abandoned her and hurried out instead, acting as though nothing had happened. On Wednesday's episode, Sloane asked Eric what he wanted to talk about before informing him of Colin's 20-year prison sentence. Eric brought up his interaction with Nicole and questioned Sloane's silence over picking up Nicole's DNA test results. Sloane dismissed it as a simple oversight, but Eric found it strained that Sloan failed to first check the name on the envelope. She explained that she was worried about their kid and only wanted to make sure he or she was okay, while Sloan protested it was the nurse's responsibility. Since this was beginning to feel like an interrogation, Sloan eventually lashed out at Eric. However, she instantly apologized and explained that she was furious because of Colin at the time. Sloane looked bad over Eric's shoulder as they hugged because he realized he had been insensitive when he mentioned how they were a family with their baby now. In the day's episode airing on Wednesday, 
Lai grinned as he sat down at a table with Melinda. When Melinda remarked that she had brought them their favorite bottle of wine, Lai immediately thought of Wendy's earlier admonition that Melinda could try to set him up once more. Lai then pretended to forget about what he had to accomplish as a result. As soon as Lai sped away and left Melinda by herself, she appeared disappointed. Nicole arrived back at Paulina's house in the hopes of running into Abe. Nicole was informed by Paulina that because Abe moved out, she would need to look elsewhere. Talia Hunter, a Ketra civilian, was upset in the town square on Wednesday's episode of Days after Colin told her that she belonged in prison just as much as he did. Ravens Bowen's Channel Dupree believed that Talia was performing community service while vicious Colin received a 20-year sentence. Talia had a lot to make up for, but she had also been the target of emotional abuse from Colin. Finally, Talia said she missed Channel and offered to buy her dinner. Talia's successor at the bakery sucked, according to Channel, who said that she missed Talia as a co-worker and friend. Talia brought up catfish during their meal together and reminded Channel of Paulina's homecoming for Abe. Channel hoped everything was going well because that was one of the dishes Paulina had made, even as she appeared anxious to her mother. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Paulina and Abe are in for more difficulties. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Eric Brady, Greg Vaughan, will soon have a somewhat changed appearance owing to a temporary casting change. Days turned to Jason Gerhardt to step in for Vaughan when he had to temporarily leave the character of Eric. This month, Gerhardt will play Eric, although his appearance won't last very long. Nevertheless, it's a good idea to be aware of this in advance and ready for a new face to appear. Some soap opera lovers might recognize Jason Gerhardt, at least if you watch General Hospital in the years 2007 to 2008. In addition to appearing in a few episodes of General Hospital, Night Shift, Gerhard played Cooper Barrett on General Hospital. Additionally, Gerhard may have appeared in programs like Mistresses, Bones, Vegas, Chicago Med, NCIS, and others. Day's viewers will be interested to see Gerhard's portrayal of Eric Brady, because he is an attractive and accomplished actor who seems like a wonderful temporary recast choice. Naturally, Greg Vaughan's absence was swiftly rectified, so following Gerhardt's brief run, it won't be long before he begins his on-screen Eric appearances. Regarding what's to come in Selim, Sloane Peterson, Jessica Surfati, will continue to keep Eric in the dark about Nicole Walker's, Ariane Zucker, baby's paternity and the DNA deception she's used. As Nicole's pregnancy progresses, there will undoubtedly be enough of drama to deal with, According to Day's spoilers, Nicole will also find herself in a difficult situation due to some unexpected proposals. In the upcoming weeks, Eric's misgivings about Sloane might intensify, particularly if Melinda Trask, Tina Huang, causes trouble. Melinda comes close to understanding Sloane's surprise and may be able to utilize it to her advantage. What do you think about Jason Gerhardt replacing Eric Brady temporarily? Do you believe your heart would make a good Vaughn replacement? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.